Hi, I'm Max, and I am from uh, Queen Anne, uh, Seattle, Washington. Okay, so when I was uh, younger, it started off as, you know, when I first started skating, you know, it was turned to this thing, you're like, oh, you think you're so cool because you're skating. And then as you kind of progress in your first years, you know, and it turns to like you're some loser because of the style that you kind of like start dressing as because you're getting used to it. You know, people start labeling you as like some loser and you're some skater kid and you're just trying to get girls to do it, and, you know, to get like labels and sponsors and doing it for the money. But when it comes to skateboarding and to be a real skater, you know, if you ask anybody, it, it's really all about having fun. As long as you're not in it for getting the girls or whoever who you are or getting the money and uh, getting the sponsors, as long as you're having fun, people will respect you in skateboarding um, no matter who you are. Even if you're doing it for the girls and the sponsors, as long as you're not all about that and you're still about having fun, right, hanging out with your friends, doing stuff like that, you're good. You're set. When it comes to skateboarding and being judged about style, I mean, you know, you could be, you know, the punk rocker kid, you know, dressed up in all that ripped up clothes and stuff, or you could be the gangster, or you could be your like average Joe, polo, khaki, anything. Um, but when it comes down to judging you, you know, people forget that, you know, it, skateboarding is not all about the style. Your, your style doesn't really reflect on how you skate. And I think that's what people kind of like get in their mind, you know. It's the same thing with personality, you know, you just if this is punk, you think you're going to be some rebel and you're going to hate people for it and you know, it's, I think skateboarding teaches you how to be different but set your label for yourself, you know, kind of go against that or for it. Um, now from what I was taught, I kind of had to embrace the kind of like label that was put on you, not in a way where you say you do, and you do what everyone's telling you. Um, because you kind of start to like it and you start to learn it and you know no matter what people tell you no matter what you are you know it can be your own label and you can follow the ones that people tell you or you can follow the ones that aren't you um, I think for me it was just like being that label but being proving them wrong you know be that label but telling them no it's not like this you know it's not about you know being mean to people while you're skating not trying to like run into them being stuff like that, like calling people like losers out in the street or, you know, like just being mean in general, being this punk, you know, that, that stereotype. And I think when you put yourself in that shoes of like looking like that and you kind of start to accept that, you can tell them like, no, it's not like that at all. It's very different. And I think it's important that people need to start realizing skateboarding and it's not just some sport. It's really a lifestyle um, for a lot of people. And you know, people can set into skateboarding until their legs fall off just because they love it for the fun and for the people. I'm Max, and uh, from my story to yours, I'm not just some punk, you know, kid who just doesn't care about anything because I'm skateboarding and I care about that most. And I think that, you know, we're not just here to slack and just do nothing, it's about having fun, and you can definitely just put yourself in that shoe, I think you'll understand.